Wait. What's that sound? I think I hear Q&A part two. I'm oh, sorry. That, that was, I'm sorry. I'm just going to remove, I'm, bye. Okay. What is up guys, this is Pax Rux, and today we love you all guys. And today, I am bringing you Q&A part two. Um, I have planned to make a part two, you know, in the next month, but unfortunately, I did not do that because I am a lazy person, and I chose not to do it. But it is two months later since our last Q&A, which we had 95 subscribers, I believe. No, 86. It was 86 subscribers. Now we're at 130, so obviously we have grown so much in the past few months. I want to say thank you all. You guys are amazing. If you have tuned into this channel for a while, I want to say thank you. And if you are new, hello there. Um, But yeah, this is Q&A part two. You guys asked so many questions. I want to say thank you for any of you that asked questions. Um, And if you didn't, then, you know, just ask them in the Q&A part three, because there will be a part three doing a part three for you guys, because why not? But yeah, you guys asked a lot of questions, so thank you guys for that, I really appreciate it. So yeah, let's get right into this video. <laughs> Question one asked by Seahawks Kid, favorite non-football YouTuber? Um, you know, I like a lot of YouTubers, uh, a lot, uh, but a lot of them are football YouTubers. I said this in my last Q&A, I like Bam Levine. Um, or, uh, I have another football YouTuber, I mean, another YouTuber, I really, you know, like, a lot of my YouTubers I watch are football YouTubers, so I can't really say I have another one. I guess that's gonna have to be it. Question two, Julius von Farrick asks, dream car. Hit it right off the bat with that one. Uh, my dream car is a 1983 Pontiac Paracene. I think that's how you say Paracene? Paracene. This car actually featured in the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, I think. Uh, I think that's the car. Uh, it actually was in Christmas Vacation. I love that movie. And, you know, the car is just amazing. I am a oldies kind of... I like, you know, old-fashioned stuff. You know, I listen to old-fashioned music. I like, you know, old-fashioned stuff. So, yeah, that's basically... My dream car, I guess I would say. I really don't have any other cars I would really like. I like trucks, too. I really like trucks. Uh, you know, I wouldn't mind having a Ford, because my dad has a Ford. So, I like trucks, too, but, you know, that would be for the car I would really like to have, because it actually looks kind of funny, too. Question three. Sammy L. Sports asks, favorite second NFL team? I don't have one. Uh, I do not really respect second NFL teams. I don't have one. If you have a second NFL team, go your own road. I, you know, don't disrespect you for that. But, you know, I just don't believe in it. I feel like you should like a team and then not like another team. And especially if they're in the NFC, you should not like two NFC teams. That is not right at all. But, you know, if you like an AFC team and an NFC team, I mean, it's a little better. But, you know, I just stick with the Green Bay Packers because... Obviously, I love the Packers. Question four. Tim Nelson asks, "Prime, would you pick Prime Jordy or Adams? Trade one, keep one. Um, uh, so basically saying, would you trade, which one would you trade? Uh, Prime Jordy or Prime Adams? <sighs> you know, I grew up a lot of my younger years. I loved Jordy Nelson. He was my favorite wide receiver in the league. I watched him dominate defenses. Unfortunately, didn't get to watch him win a Super Bowl uh, with the Packers because I started watching football in 2013. But since, you know, I'm getting older and, you know, Devontae Adams is, you know, progressing and getting better, I got to say I would keep Devontae Adams. I really think that he, you know, I feel like they got the same level, but Devontae Adams is the best wide receiver in the league right now. So I got to say a goal with Devontae Adams and I would trade Jordy Nelson away. I don't like saying that. He also said, favorite Packer moment. Easy peasy lemons. Okay. Easy. The Packers sideline throw. Aaron Rodgers rolls left, throws a perfect dime to wide receiver. I mean, tight end Jared Cook, which set up a Mason Crosby 
field goal. That is the very first Packer game I ever cried. You know, tears of joy for. I've cried during different ones, obviously. The 2014 NFC Championship. Yeah, that's basically probably my favorite Packers moment of all time. It was absolutely amazing. And obviously the most nerve-wracking game I've ever watched in my whole life. Question four, go pack, go ask, how much longer until Aaron Rodgers sucks? Never. Question five, Trace McSorley asked, favorite song? You're really going to hit me with that one. Oh my god, there is just, I feel like there's just too many. Oh yeah, also Julius Von Farrick asked, favorite song also. If I were to pick a top song, I would probably do, oh my god, this is not an easy one, uh, Can't Fight This Feeling by R.E.O. Speedwagon, that one, um, that's a very good song, it's an 80s song, um, I listen to that music. Don't make fun of me. I'm sorry. Don't. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's my favorite song. Um, I just really like the song. It, you know, it doesn't really represent anything. I just listen to it a lot, and it's a very good song. So you should go listen to it if you like old fashioned music like that. Um, Tortoise Gaming asks, "Are you a fan of any other Wisconsin sports?" Yes, I am a Wisconsin sports super fan. If you see around my room night right now. I got Brewers pennants, I got Badgers pennants, I got Bucks pennants. I've got... Um, I am a huge Brewers fan, I am a huge Bucks fan, I am a huge Badgers fan. But obviously, the Packers hit number one. Uh, I gotta say number two would probably be the Badgers. No, the Brewers. Number three would be the Badgers and the Bucks will be last because, you know, I like you know, football better. But, yeah, though, I like all of the Wisconsin sports teams. I don't really... I... I um, you know, I root for the Blackhawks. You know, I, I am a Blackhawks fan. I actually have a jersey. If I can find it. I have a Blackhawks jersey. There's a slide, sleeve. But I don't really watch hockey that much. You know, I never really got into it. But I support the Blackhawks because, you know, that's what my dad supports. So I'll support the Blackhawks. Next page. Aaron Smith asks, favorite Packers moment. Oh my, oh yeah, this one was, uh, I should have put this before. Obviously, the Jared Cook catch on the sideline, you know, to win, to send the Packers to the NFC Championship game. Number something, Hansel Fodafari asks, are you a handy guy? Yes, I am. I am a very handy guy. I love working with tools, you know, working with all kinds of tools. I love tech ed. If you don't know what tech ed is, it is like a class where, Basically, you build stuff and, you know, you work with different kind of, you know, woods and saws and stuff. That is probably my favorite um, class out of my middle school um, when I was in middle school. Um, I really liked that class. And so, yeah, I could say I'm a handy guy and also my grandpa and dad with some stuff sometimes. So, yeah, I guess I could say I'm a handy guy. Hansel Von Farrick also asks, all-time favorite QB wide receiver. Ow. Uh, my favorite QB ever is Aaron Rodgers, obviously. If I were to do a top three Packers of all time QBs, I would do Aaron Rodgers, Bart Starr, Brett Favre. Um, Bart Starr, obviously, is one of my favorites also. Even though I didn't watch him, I absolutely respect him so much. He was an amazing QB for the Packers. And, yeah. Now, do you... <laughs> Hansa Fontberg asks, do you have a girlfriend? The answer is no, I don't, and I don't want one anytime soon. You know, I a lot of kids in middle school and high school are like, ooh, like, ooh, I like this person, I like this person, and I never really got into that stuff. You know, obviously, I've had some, you know, crushes over the past, you know, middle school, high school, well, middle school, basically, you know, careers, but... I never really dated anybody. I just don't really see the point of it. You know, you're, you're not going to date them for the rest of your life. So I just don't see a point in it. I mean, I mean, I just really don't see a point in it. So the next question asks by Castani Johns, 
Why are you so awesome? Because I am. I totally did not ask that question on my other YouTube account. Moving on. Uh, Seahawks Kid asks, who is your hero? My dad. Definitely. My dad is my hero. But if we're talking, like, sport, like, celebrity-wise, like, you know, who is your, like, inspires you the most out of, like, celebrity-wise, I would probably say, probably say um, Aaron Rodgers or, uh, probably Aaron Rodgers or somebody else. Who else? <laughs> I don't know. I got uh, my dad and my grandpa are my heroes. I love my dad and grandpa. You know, they obviously have been, you know, the biggest role models in my life. I really love my dad and my grandpa. They, obviously, what I just said, they're my biggest role models. And I just, they're my heroes. And the last but not least question of the day. 551st, what? Oh, 551st says, what's your real name? Drum roll, please. Bob. I'm just kidding. Aaron Smith already knows my name. He knows my name it is Nick. You don't know my last name, though? My name is Nick Lubke. Um, If you don't hear that right, L-U-E-B-K-E. Lubke. Um, yeah, uh, my name is German. My last name is German. My name is Nick. Uh, you, a lot of people, you don't know that. A lot of you guys don't know that. Yeah, my name is Nick Lubke. If you guys don't know that, um, my middle name is Wayne after my grandpa. And, yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about that because there's really nothing else to know. Um, and, yeah, that was the last question of Q&A Part 2. Sorry if this one was not as good as Part 1, but, you know doesn't really matter so yeah thank you guys for asking your questions you guys are all so great i love you guys as fans you guys are great fans um honestly i've been wanting to say this for a while thank you guys for all the support i've been getting lately i really 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 deep down appreciate it in our live stream the other day we had six people in the stream not even a minute into the stream and that just blew my mind and how we've been blowing up lately 130 subscribers this is all i ever wanted um we are still a very 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 small channel but thank you guys who have supported me along the way um and i'll do some honorable mentions right now Whew. honorable mentions julius von Ferrick. thank you hansa von Ferrick. you guys have been great um aaron smith obviously sports mania uh, obviously you know seahawks kid um you know, uh, NFL or Tortoise Gaming, you guys have all been, you know, just biggest, you know, people. You've been commenting right away on the channel, so I want to say thank you guys for that. And, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching Q&A Part 2. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.